This is Optimal Work Daily, episode 1338. What is a sabbatical and how to prepare for your time away from work? By Anne Lease Wealth with marriagekidsandmoney.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host and narrator of the show, and I'm with you every single day, including weekends and holidays, reading from these great blogs on work and entrepreneurship and uh, all kinds of related topics. And today I'm actually gonna be reading from a brand new site. We've never featured this author or the site before. It's called marriagekidsandmoney.com. And since this is a longer post, I'll be starting the article today and then finishing up tomorrow in the Friday episode. So with that, let's get right to it as we hear part one and optimize your life. What is a sabbatical and how to prepare for your time away from work? Part one, by Anne Lease Wealth with marriagekidsandmoney.com. Do you ever think about taking time away from work to focus on personal or professional goals? Maybe you've been working hard for years and are dreaming of taking some time off to relax. Have you ever considered taking a sabbatical? What is a sabbatical? A sabbatical is when you take an extended break from work. For employees, it's usually for a specific period agreed upon with an employer. People take extended leaves from work for various reasons, whether to pursue personal or professional interests. This is a popular option for people in the FIRE movement as it helps people reduce burnout in their careers. It also helps you discover a bit more about yourself and your dreams for the future. A few years ago, I decided to take a three-month unpaid sabbatical from work. I needed time to be more present for a sick family member, and my work didn't provide enough flexibility to accomplish that. It was at a point where I wanted to do something different professionally, but I didn't want to rush into the next opportunity just to get away from my current job. I decided to take a sabbatical, and almost two years later, I'm glad I took that step. It has given me the clarity to redesign my life and use my gifts and talents in a more fulfilling way. How long is a typical sabbatical? Sabbaticals usually last anywhere from 2 to 12 months on average. The length of your sabbatical depends on your employer's policy and your personal plans. To determine how much time you're eligible to take for your sabbatical, you should review your company's policy and get in touch with human resources to ensure that you have the up-to-date information available. How do I talk to my employer about a sabbatical? In recent years, work sabbaticals have become more popular. According to a 2017 survey from the Society for Human Resource Management, Nearly 17% of employers in the United States offer sabbaticals. Whether through specific employee benefits or the Family and Medical Leave Act, FMLA, an increasing number of employers provide the opportunity to their employees to take time away from work. Researching your company's practices regarding sabbaticals will prepare you to have a productive discussion with your employer. The Employee Benefits section of the company website and the Employee's Handbook are a great place to start. Once you understand your company's guidelines, You want to gather as much data as possible to support the benefits of work sabbaticals. If you are interested in a sabbatical to improve your academic or professional qualifications or to explore other interests, it could lead to better job opportunities or professional advancements, such as promotions. When meeting with your manager, communicating the objective and length of the sabbatical, highlighting its benefits, and reinforcing your commitment to the company will help make a case for an extended leave. Creating a one-pager summarizing those points can help your manager better process the request. How do I prepare financially for a sabbatical? If you continue to receive a full salary, knowing that your sabbatical pay will cover your regular expenses will help make planning easier. However, if you plan to take unpaid leave or receive a partial salary during your leave, more financial preparation will be necessary. The first step to financially prepare for a sabbatical is to take a close look at your expected expenses. Housing expenses. During your sabbatical, do you plan to keep your current housing arrangements? Will you have to continue to pay for your rent or mortgage? If you're currently renting, is it possible to schedule your sabbatical at the end of your current rental agreement? If you own a home, are you considering renting out your home or having a house swap agreement during your sabbatical? For most people, rent or mortgage payment is the biggest fixed expense. If you can reduce or get rid of that expense during your sabbatical, It will lower your financial obligations and give you more flexibility in terms of where you can take your sabbatical. If you plan to relocate temporarily for your sabbatical, researching rental costs in the area you are interested in will help you better prepare financially. Healthcare costs. How will you cover your medical expenses during your sabbatical? Will your company take care of most of your healthcare costs or should you look into getting your coverage during that period? 
If you are paid during your work sabbatical, you should ensure that your employer will continue to deduct health insurance costs from your paycheck. If it's an unpaid sabbatical, you might be able to have health insurance coverage through the Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, or COBRA, which requires employers to allow former employees to maintain their health insurance. This is an option to look into, but your premiums will significantly increase as your employer will no longer subsidize the insurance. If you're married, being added to your spouse's health insurance might be your best option. Another avenue to explore is buying your own health insurance. Healthcare.gov offers many healthcare plans and a variety of coverage levels. Probably won't compete with healthcare coverage through your employer at a similar cost, but you should have options that would ensure major healthcare expenses are covered during your sabbatical. Other living expenses. Hear that in tomorrow's episode. You just listened to part one of the post titled, What is a Sabbatical and How to Prepare for Your Time Away from Work? by Anne Lease Wealth with MarriageKidsAndMoney.com. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search at all. Don't search, match with Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging. 93% of employers agree. Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it filters out those incompatible applicants. So when you're hiring, the process is much faster and you only have to consider applicants that are already likely to be a great fit. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash startup. So just go to indeed.com slash startup right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash startup. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. And a big thanks to Anne Lease for sharing this post, which we're going to finish up for you tomorrow, as I mentioned. This is the first time hearing from Anne or from the site marriagekidsandmoney.com. So let me tell you a little bit more about Anne. Anne Lease Wealth is a writer, personal finance educator, and certified public accountant, or CPA. She's the founder of the ALW Communications Agency and the Plutus Award-nominated dreamoflegacy.com, a platform dedicated to inspiring millennials to build wealth with purpose. Anne is the author of Dream of Legacy, Raising Strong and Financially Secure Black Kids, and the host of The Dreamers Podcast. Her work and advice have been featured in media outlets such as Business Insider, Harvard Business Review's Ascend, Next Advisor, Time, and Black Enterprise, just to name a few. So again, a big thank you to Anne for letting us share her work today. But that's gonna do it, and uh, thanks so much for joining me and listening through to the end. And of course, we are only halfway through this particular article, so be sure to come on back tomorrow as we finish up this post, and that is where your optimal life awaits.